Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can install MySQL on Windows 10. So first thing you need to open your favorite browser and search on the address bar Google or you can search on the address bar um, download MySQL. Once you search the download MySQL, then you need to open the first one link. Inside this page, you just need to click uh, MySQL Community Server and inside this page have a go to download page. I'm going to click on that. Inside this page have a Windows um, 86 32 bits MSI installer and inside this have a MySQL installer web community. It means do you want to install the MySQL using with the help of internet so you need to select the first one if you want to use uh, the second one this uh, install will help you to install the MySQL without internet and the first one uh, installer size is 18.6 MB and second one is uh, 30, 30, 300 98.9 MB. So I'm gonna download the last one, second one, and inside this page you just click to no thanks, just start my download, and you will able to see the download link. But in my case, I have a installer on my PC. I'm gonna show you my scala installer community. I'm gonna show you size of this installer. 380 or uh, 98 MB so I'm gonna install that so you just need to double click on that and wait a couple of seconds to display the installer of my scale. now in this page choose a setup type which type you want to install on my scale. there are default um, many there are many um, type available on this page on each type you have a different uh, features inside developer default um, setup have a features like mysql server mysql shell mysql router mysql workbench mysql for excel and many other things now inside this page have a particular feature inside this have a particular feature but I'm going to select the full one because I will use each feature, right? So I'm going to select full and click to next. Inside this page, have a path where you want to install the MySQL, where you want to save the data. So those are default. Do you want to change that? You can do that. Just click to dot dot signs and change the path. In my case, I just leave the dot zero and click next inside this page have uh, requirements those are basically optionals do you want to install that you can do that in my case i leave them and click to next this is a one or more products requirement have not been satisfied yes those are features that will install on my operating system so I'm going to click to execute and it will take few minutes or uh, more than few minutes then we will able to see another feature so wait now guys the all products have been installed successfully on my PC so I'm going to click uh, next the all products as you can see MySQL and many other so I'm going to click to next and inside this page i just leave that and click next this is a ability high ability there are two options standard alone mysql server and InnoDB cluster but in my case i'm going to use standalone right so i'm going to click next and inside this page have a type of networking and this is a default port do you want to change that you can use that in my case i'll leave that because this is the default port best for me so i'm going to click to next 
so this is authentication method this is a use a strong password encryption for authentication recommend it. and now the second one is use legacy authentication method in my case i select the first one and click to next inside this page you just need to use password and same password okay that's it now the another thing is do you want to add the another user you just use this one button right so i'm gonna use next and i'll leave that and click next apply configuration so i'm gonna use uh, execute and it takes few seconds then we will able to use my spell on our pc now guys we have successfully configured the mysql so the last thing we need to click to finish now this is the product configuration i'm going to click next and i'll leave that and just click to finish again next inside this page we need to add the password that we have used uh, in previous section so I'm gonna use the same password and just click to check connection success right so let's use next and upload configuration yes and now this is a I think last one step then we will use MySQL on our PC so just a minute now guys we have successfully configured and installed mysql on our pc so let's uh, run the application so i'm going to click to finish and click to next and finally finish we will able to see the mysql shell and also mysql workbench after i uh, finish the installation so i'm going to click to finish so this is a my sql i shell and just a minute you will able to see my sql workbench as well i think something is wrong but i'll leave that and i go to start and i'm going to use my sql there we go my sql workbench i'm going to select that this is the MySQL workbench, right? right? Now, I want to use that. I want to use that, right? So, first connect database. I'm gonna leave the everything and can do OK. I'm gonna enter my password. The same password, installation password. So, so this is a workbench process so first thing i'm gonna check show database uh, okay i will use uh, i close this one basically i will use my sql command line client because i will use that I need to enter password, same password. Inside this page, first I'm going to use show db. And just a okay, show databases, semicolon. There we go. We have a um, one two three four five six databases so i'm gonna use any um, database inside over this table so i'm gonna use mysql i'm gonna use show tables okay just a minute mm -hmm. show tables there are many tables available inside the MySQL database. There are many others, right? So I think 
I hope you understood as well how you can download and install the MySQL on your operating system. So if you have any problem you can I'll leave the comment inside the video I will help you. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel for getting updates. Have a nice day guys.